I'm Pat Harvey and our other top story tonight, a Palace Verdes home has a gaping hole in the roof after an SUV launched off the road and right into that home. KKL News reporter Michelle Gili spoke with the home owner who was inside when the crash happened. Then the whole house kind of rumbled, but not quite like an earthquake. What is going on? And then I looked over here, I saw the shattered glass, no earthquake. Then I saw the car. A Mercedes with a woman behind the wheel had launched into Joanne Colleen's family room off of the steep road behind her Rancho Palos Verdes home. Colleen was just sitting down to dinner with her husband when she saw this. Came in here, saw that there was a person in the car and realized that she was kind of coming in and out of consciousness. And my training said, keep her alive until I can get some help here. So I was, hey, hey, look at me, look at me. In the meantime, I'm calling 911. Get here quick. There's a lady unconscious in a car in my family room. Firefighters managed to free the trapped driver and get her to a hospital. Her husband told Joanne Killeen it's likely she fell asleep as she came down the hill on Gran Via Altamira Sunday just before 6 p.m. God, she's lucky to be alive. There are car parts, heavy wooden beams, and some of Joanne's handmade quilts littering the floor here in her family room. She says that she can smell and she can see some kind of automotive fuel that is soaked her carpet. The city has now red tagged this part of her home. More than a dozen firefighters and tow truck drivers hoisted the car out of the spot that Killeen used to call her happy quilting place. Despite the heavy damage, she's feeling very fortunate to be standing here. Well, you know, I don't want to cry, but what else can you do? You know, Matt and I are very blessed that we made it. Five minutes sooner, if I'd been here, we wouldn't be having this interview. In Rancho Palos Verdes, Michelle Geely, KCAL News.